guys. Um, first of all, sorry, uh, I supposed to put this video yesterday, uh, but I worked so hard yesterday until the sun set and the video and here the sun is setting at 7 30 of the night so <laughs> it'd be a long way in my mouth um so yeah i was very tired yesterday i just take a bath and put my hand in the bed and i was asleep um so uh the first giveaway i, I had uh i do it for um just a weekend and was not wise of me so i have something beautiful that i found i, I picked some for myself <laughs> but i want to share with you and i really want this to celebrate is pretty here and everything that becomes spring like the opportunity to grow food opportunity to go and play outside uh even my daughters make me to buy a pool, a kitty pool, pool. and uh, right now i have to clean it because my daughter anna told that um was a huge cauldron to make mud, mud pie and it's full of dirt so um giving uh the giveaway <laughs> i want to celebrate uh what all the spring uh, means for all of you uh, i know everyone have let me show you something see the baby chick she's just there in the wire perching roosting there what Really, girl? Really, girl? <laughs> animals. And speaking of animals, ah, I have a blackie here. Mm. Okay, baja chica. Um, so, I find these in the store and I really like it. One is say, home sweet home and have this bird nest and all the spring flowers around it and it's so beautiful and for gardeners uh, veggies gardeners like me i have flowers everywhere too <laughs> uh, here i have those, some dianthus <laughs> running around um this one is speak of my heart i know it's going to speak to the heart of almost our gardeners so water wait so <clears throat> first of all this giveaway is not affiliated with anyone this is things that i find in the store and i say oh that's so cool i, I have both of these it's going to, i'm going to decorate my green um greenhouse with it um well the one with veggies the other one going to be inside my home um and i just want to share with you guys uh with those so it's not affiliated at this uh, don't feel later with anyone um it had to be inside the country us only because all the prohibitions about we now uh covid and some countries don't sadly don't permit things like this um and the feed um it's more easy for me to do it US um, what else <laughs> um, okay if I remember something I'm going to put it in the end of this video <laughs> but yeah um, I'm going to give um, today is Saturday the 10th April 10th it's going to be on the 23rd of this month, two weeks, um, and I'm going in the end of this video, I'm going to put the, the question about um, as you can answer in the comments. Um, 
And the other day, I'm going to randomly um, choose a comment for that. Um, but yeah, uh, see this video. This video, uh, uh, a, t uh, a tip that is going to be about grapes, but it's too about um, something very personal for me. And uh, one of the reasons of white gardening. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> and that's are going to be about that. <clears throat> so stay tuned, uh, stay tuned, and see you in the end of this video. Hey guys, uh, here I am making soil. Um, the combination. I put um uh, black cow manure composted, and I had the mass because I. Just put the um the pit moss, and you don't want to breathe that. That can harm your lungs. The uh that yeah. Uh -huh. So um now I'm going to pour the perch light, but that's why I still have the mask because I don't um uh, you don't want to breathe the perlite uh dust. Uh, that can harm your lungs too and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to plant today um, I got some uh, good stuff and I'm going to do a couple of things um, today that I want you to show you guys see you later well <laughs> I finished my oops I finished doing my soil and I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I was go I go to Lowe's uh, to buy more black cow. Um, when I say pr uh, product name, I don't I'm not affiliated with anything. No one is paying me to um, say these product names. It's just I like it and I see how um, healthy my plants are growing when I used it. Um, I, I even used a uh, black cow of oh, oh, doing my um, seeds starting mix, and you uh, uh, you can see how healthy my seedlings are. Well, give me a moment. Well, um, my girls were in the streets here, and don't like uh, to be in the street here in the parking. Um, uh, I know the kids do it, but I don't like my girls do it. So, I got grapes. A couple of kinds of grapes. Um, this is insect seedless grape. You can see. Stop. Stop. No, the plants don't need the water. The plants don't need the water. Lucy! She doesn't listen to me. I say no. I told you. Yeah, that's thorns. Yeah, because it's a rose. Rose has thorns. Yes, mommy. So I have this one, and I have another one. I tried to get. For uh, like every color I can get, Venus seedless. These are all um, dark purple. One. Um, this is my husband's shirt when he was working in a dealership. So <laughs> don't mind that. Um, and flame red seedless. Now that I think about it. All are seedless. Well, oh well. I can propagate them then. It's another option. So, and I got another. I buy two strawberry, uh, black blueberries in tractor supply. And for blueberries, you had to have like three or more to pollinate each other. So, I got this. True, uh, teeth blue, one, and all that, all these the 
um, grapes and this blueberry are from um, Lowe's. Um, like I say, uh, no one is paying for me uh, to say this course or something like that. Uh, I just being honest and um, tell you where I got this because if you want to get it, uh, it's like, oh, well, I get it. I want some of those. Well, I'll tell you where you can get it. <laughs> Track, uh, tractor Supply have it. Lowe's have it. Um, I don't see in my Home Depot. You can check. Um, and I think, well, it all sold out in Walmart. But Walmart have it. You can check in your states or where you live uh, these, um, these stores. Um, uh, internationally, uh, in around uh, in Europe, or Asia, if you've seen this, I have no idea. You know your stores over there. <laughs> I know my stores over here. <laughs> so, sorry, I don't can um, help you with that. But yes, I have those um, like cut starters um, that I'm going to plant today. I uh, buy in my dollar store, Dollar Tree. Um, so, I'm going to start with the uh frame flame red and with this is better to Mommy, use a scissor Mommy. this is a garden scissor Mommy. i have yes anna that almost blooming yes and then could i'm going to cut it from here because i want to read this This way, the roots that have de uh, developed are uh, not going to. Oh, it have a paper inside. Good. The one, the other ones that I buy in church supply don't have paper, so it's going to be more easy to plant. Um. No. I say no. Okay, I have a problem here because um, the pot is not like you can see. Uh, it, it's taller than the pot. So, I'm thinking. Uh, let me see the roots. Okay, the roots are. I'm going to try to spread the roots. Very careful, I don't want to damage this. Oh. Oh. Okay, we'll see. Have faith. I really would love to pla put this in a Saigon bucket, but um, I still had not buy the buckets. I'm going to start in buying them soon, this couple of weeks. So, okay. so uh, I see they don't have fruits here in the um, board. So, I can um, diminish this. The roots are down. No, Lucy, leave the host. Okay. So, I'm um, going to put more soil. Always leave uh, like an inch of space. So, when you water them, um, you're going to have a space for the water. Firm, firm up a little bit. They're like a mound, but it's okay. I don't care. So, first, first one, done. Let's continue doing the others.
talk a little bit uh, for you to know me more. Um, to let you know a little bit about me, um, you know, I'm from Puerto Rico. I moved here when I was 24, 20, no, 25 years old. Um, I'm now five years here. Um, I came with my daughter, my cat, and just suitcase with clothes. Um, my husband was working in a hotel in Atlanta, and because they the only job he can got, um, he was trying to get a job uh, for two years in Puerto Rico, and we don't get anything. Um, we were living um, with strap um, and it's not bad thing. It's not bad to um, live uh, with strap um, stamp, but um, there are people that need it more. People that can't work because of health issues. Um, so, oh, we were young. We have a little baby. We want to progress. Um, have better things in life and when he find this job in here in the youth uh, in Georgia uh, we say yeah why not um, he came first and then I uh, moved for a month later uh, so um It's in the bed. Well, use the one that is in the ice cream pot. <sighs> um. Before that, I stood there. For, I studied for six years in music education to be a teacher. And my instrument was piano. Um, but for my condition, my hands, I have to give up that. I don't finish my degree. I almost have it. Almost. But, um, and then I got pregnant. Almost was a difficult pregnancy. And then I become a mom. And I decided to be at home. And raise my kid. Um, I think I'm finished my degree uh, um, because I changed my degree to be a kindergarten teacher. But right now, I don't think that's my calling. Um, here, I discovered more on myself um, because, let's be honest, um, when you are 19, uh, 18 years old, you don't know yourself really well. And you don't know really what you want in life. You're going to be discovering things, and through the years, um, so <laughs> yes, I was a musician. Well, I am. I, I'm not practicing right now because I don't have the instrument with me. I asked Lucy to share, but I need some clean spoon. I use the ice cream spoon. Clean it. You know. Can you pick it up and you know how to clean it? Okay. Um, right now I don't have a piano with me, but that's one of the things that we're going to have when we have our new house next year. Um, so, yeah. A part of that, I was raised um, by a sing single mom. I know my father. Um, we have a good relationship, but he was not part of my life a lot, uh, in my childhood. Um, he's a good grandfather, and that's good to me. Um, my husband and I, we were we ha been have been together for more of, of two years. Uh, we got together when we were at uh, seventeen. And 
I love him more now than I was at that time. Um, and after five years, um, we got married, and yeah, he is a beautiful, uh, wonderful, and beautiful husband. I'm, I'm really blessed to have him with me. Um, and one of the things that I been living condition that I've been living um, through the years have been depression. I had a really bad depression before my wedding when um, my doctors and my music teacher told me that um, I can't play the piano professionally anymore, perform the piano. Um, and I was very dangerous situation that time and uh, but help the doctors help me go through it and then a um, couple of years ago I uh, got again to my doctors uh, mental health doctors, doctors because um, I was conscious that my mental health was not good um, and they discovered that um, I have bipolarity um, so I have moon swings Mom? yes you have Uh, because you already eat it, remember? Oh, but we got just one. Yes, because I buy two yesterday, and you eat one yesterday, remember? Uh huh. But I want some more. Well, ask Lucy for sure. So I started uh, medication um, like two years ago, and I still have my medication. It's a medication I'm going to uh, um, live with it for the rest of my life because this condition, like bipolarity, is not a condition that go away. Um, it's a condition like other medical conditions like diabetes, um, high blood pressure. Um, or he uh, or heart condition, but that this um is a mental health in my brain, in my head, um, and it's important I keep um uh, taking my medication because that maintain my moods moods um stable, and because it's not easy that you have a conversation and you having fun and then you uh, start crying. Or be very upset and be angry and that's what was happening to me and <laughs> that's not normal and yeah I live with that and you know what I use there are a lot of stigma um, like if you have a mental condition you know a good person but the thing is how life goes every experience that we have one time or not, um, were you going to have a mental condition, a uh, health mental condition, with depression or other thing? Um, I'm blessed that uh, my condition is smile. I don't have the like serious condition like psychosis or something like that. Um, and I really praying that never uh, develop that. Um, but I'm not really ashamed of having this condition I talk openly about it 
um, because you have to be tough. It's not uh, uh, many people have like that's the mon the monster on the my bed, um, and it's not it's not good because this is a condition that you have to talk about it to find um, with the ones that love you um, and that your friends um, support because it's a hard condition some that time you're not okay you wake up and you're not okay um, and some other times you're okay but those times that you are down uh, you really need uh, your family your friends to be there with you yes Anna No more ice cream. You already eat ice cream today, mommy. Me, my sister Lucy. You and your sister Lucy are eat popsicles and eat ice cream. No more sugar for you. Okay, but Lucy said it. No more sugar for you, girls. Um. So yeah. This is a little bit about me. Um, that's one of the things that I think that drew me to gardening. Even in I um, grew up in the country area in Puerto Rico um, with chickens. I learned how to kill a chicken when I was four years old. So <laughs> it's like <laughs> I remember my cousin. Um, killing the chicken and put it upside down so the blood can go down and then put it the, <laughs> the feathers away and I was there I was like okay and then um, I get to get the chicken to my aunt and so she can cook the chicken <laughs> and that's my experience that um, was like was not traumatizing it was like part of life <laughs> to kill your own chicken uh, so you can make a good stew <laughs> so, um, but then after um, a huge hurricane uh, we have to go and live in the um, in the town and leave an apartment um, and then uh, like I disconnect myself for gardening for everything that was um, Earth. My mom have a palm and two trinitarias in her balcony, and that was like my relationship with nature. Um, <laughs> and then I start when I move here. Well, no, before in my uh, in the house I was living uh, uh, with my husband before moving here. Uh, I was starting like showing uh, all my plans to have a, a vegetable garden and um, but that was no mean to be in Puerto Rico sadly um, and when I moved to the States I started living in apartments and what's sad because I don't have the liberty at uh, that time because I didn't even have a, a driving license so um, at that time um, to like go to the store and buy some plants and um, make it and my husband was working all day alone hard um to start um having things here because we really have the mattress that the company that he was working um uh, give us to us to sleep and and you can put your eyes like what but yeah, we were sleeping on the floor with mattress and when we came to the States and just have the clothes that we had and someone and the first uh, winter that we got here where uh, we have a sister church that give us all our uh, coats and winter gear um, for <laughs> uh, for our first winter. Um, and we literally, literally start from zero here in the States. And maybe we don't live like in good mansion or something like that. But looking back, well, well, every time that we got here, uh, just we are close 
our daughter uh, at that time was a baby uh, or cat uh, 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 Tess at that time we just have one <laughs> cat um, we have growth a lot we have been blessed a lot and that's uh, 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 been like a growing period of five years between my husband and I and to do and know that we can make our dreams come true um, so really that's like the American dream but it's not like my American dream we have uh, uh, the more luxurious and uh, expensive car no my American American dream is have my farm <laughs> <laughs> that can grow uh, have my girls even if they want to ride a horse I want to learn how to ride a horse <laughs> um, uh, yeah that's that's my American dream to be to have everything I need for live a house a car I have my car right now food um, that's a, a thing I need in my life. Uh, I don't need a diamond in my hand <laughs> to <laughs> to be happy. Um, and not every person have a different American dream, a a, a dream to no. come true. Um, but that's me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have been very blessed. Um, boy. Oh, it's late so I'm going to finish here I have not put everything in pots I'm going to start doing it but I have to be fast um see you later bye Adios. so I hope you like this video um I'm really difficult sometimes to open myself um I grow we are of responsibilities uh, uh, and uh, uh, taking care of my mom and one of the things that I do at the time was um, pull up everything um, so my mom don't um, uh, was less for my mom to, to think about um, so yeah um, this is what the giveaway is beautiful so that um so the question is very simple I want you to answer what is your motivation for waking up every day and do what you do when you garden when you go outside and work when you prepare delicious meals what is your motivation my motivation my family to see my girls bright eyes when I cook something delicious to know that creating a safe environment that they can be themselves and then providing good food healthy food to them so everything I do everything is for my family and my husband too <laughs> I know he worked out, uh, out of town most of the time but when he's home and um, he was home last week and it was nice to share with him the, the recipe I learned for Jess for home and refuge about get the colors sauteed with onions and garlic and put on toast with fried egg <laughs> that was the purpose and was awesome and he liked it and he's a picky person when it comes to veg veggies um, so that's uh, something that I was like very happy about it. Um, so yeah and even the fresh egg of my chickens <laughs> he was the first time he eat it um, because he might be a, a long way away a, a from a, a lot of time so <laughs> let's wrap it up this up remember the question what has motivated you to wake up 
every day and do what you do. Um, comment below. Remember, like this video. Thumbs up. Um, you have to be a subscriber for this giveaway. It's going to be until the 33rd of this month. And that's it, I think. <laughs> I won't show you again. Uh, so, water and wait. We had to ver be very patient when you grow something. And remember to always have a home sweet home. And we had to work with that. <laughs> um, I, there are something that I was, when I see this phrase, I always remember. And one of the leader of the church I go, um, he say that we have to always build a home like a piece of heaven. That can be our piece of heaven here on earth. And that's very wise words. And the, uh, my my goal always when a, um, a new home, a new house is to build my piece of heaven. <laughs> so I can raise my family in there and me and myself um, so yeah I hope you like this video really and comment below like this video <laughs> how many times I have to say that <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> oh uh, 